Hello and welcome back to Euro Football Daily, where today we are covering 10 of the most humiliating Barcelona defeats. Ooh, this is going to be a juicy one. But quickly, before we start, make sure you've hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And of course, like and subscribe. Right, let's get down to it. 10. Celta Vigo 4, Barcelona 1. The north of Spain is never fun to visit, with Athletic Club, Real Sociedad and Galician side Celta Vigo boasting 117 victories over Barcelona between them. But in September 2015, Luis Enrique's Blaugrana headed to Vigo as European and domestic champions, having achieved an unprecedented treble three months earlier. Celta was Luis Enrique's previous job, and he named a strong team against Los Celticos. The iconic front line of Messi, Suarez and Neymar took the field, as did Busquets, Piquet and Iniesta, while Celta lined up Barcelona reject Nolito and Liverpool reject Iago Aspas to face a Barcelona which had lost just one of their previous 25 league games. It worked. Nolito opened the scoring and Aspas grabbed a double before Gudetti added a fourth after a Neymar consolation. It was the Giants' worst domestic defeat since 2008, the pre-Pep days, and saw them drop to fifth in the table, briefly putting Celta on top. They ultimately recovered to win the title, but the fans could not forget the embarrassment and hounded Luis Enrique into a premature departure two years later. 9. Sevilla 3, Barcelona 0 Back in 2006, Barcelona were riding high. The Blaugrana, under the guidance of Frank Rijkaard, had emulated the achievement of another Dutch legend, winning the club's second Champions League 14 years after Johan Cruyff delivered the first. Beating a vintage Arsenal team gave the Catalans the right to play Europa League champion Sevilla for the European Super Cup, just the second meeting between the sides in continental competition. Rijkaard named a strong side, with Xavi, Thiago Motta and Deco behind a front line of Eto, Ronaldinho and a 19-year-old Lionel Messi. Sevilla, meanwhile, were led by Freddy Canute and Luis Fabiano, but the Andalusians turned on the style in Monaco, putting nine shots on target to Barca's four and running out 3-0 winners. The star of the show was a young right-back called Dani Alves, who was named Man of the Match and would of course go on to join Barca, as would teammate Adriano, playing on the wing that night. The club have won all six European finals they've reached since. 8. Barcelona 1, Real Madrid 2 Looking back, we now remember Pep Guardiola's Barcelona as an unstoppable juggernaut, making it even more impressive that Jose Mourinho picked them to the title in 2012, picking up 100 points with Real Madrid, a Spanish record. The second Clasico of the season came in April, just three days after Barcelona had lost the first leg of their Champions League semi-final against Chelsea. Hopes were high though, with the gap between Barca and Real just four points with five games to go, and a 1-0 deficit to overcome in the second leg against a weak Chelsea side. But Mourinho turned up with the perfect game plan, ripping through Barcelona on the counter-attack and getting six shots on targets to the Catalans' three. Cadira and Ronaldo scored the goals and Guardiola's men didn't even get an attempt on the frame until the 70th minute, meekly surrendering the title to Los Blancos. Three days later, the club gave up a 2-0 lead against 10-man Chelsea to exit the Champions League in the penultimate round. Despite winning four trophies that season and Lionel Messi scoring a ridiculous 73 goals, Barcelona failed in the two competitions which mattered the most and Guardiola left that summer. 7. Levante 5, Barcelona 4 A narrow loss at the tail end of a title-winning season might seem like it shouldn't figure so high on this list, but this was no ordinary defeat. Barca went into their matchup with Levante in May 2018, just two games away from completing a campaign without losing once in the league. Two weeks earlier, the 10 men Blaugrana had weathered a storm at the Bernabeu to draw an El Clasico, and Levante, sitting in 14th, were not expected to threaten their shot at becoming invincibles. The Frogs had scored just 37 goals in 36 games, while Barcelona were conceding under 0.7 goals per match, making spirits high despite Samuel Mtiti and Lionel Messi missing the fixture. But half an hour in, Levante were 2 0 up, as an injury to Thomas Vermalen left them temporarily short handed, allowing 21 year old Emmanuel Boateng to round to Stegen. Boateng would end up completing his hat-trick, and though Philippe Coutinho responded with one of his own, a defensive horror show from Busquets and Yeri Mina gave the underdogs a famous triumph, while Barcelona conceded as many goals in 90 minutes as they had in their first 13 games of the campaign combined. Having glimpsed immortality in an unbeaten season, an unprecedented event in Spanish football, Barcelona returned from Valencia demoted to the ranks of the ordinary. 6. Barcelona 0, Dinamo Kiev 4 in 1997, Barcelona had gone four years without winning La Liga, keeping them out of the Champions League. But UEFA changed the structure of the competition to include domestic runners-up for the 97-98 tournament, and Barcelona were drawn in the ideal group, facing PSV Eindhoven, Newcastle and Dinamo Kiev. 
Louis van Gaal was in his first year at the helm, but suffered a horror start, losing away at the Magpies and drawing at home to PSV, before a 3-0 battering in the Ukraine. There was a month between the third and fourth fixtures, and Barcelona regrouped, intending to regain their pride when Kiev came to the Camp Nou, with a strong lineup including Louis Figo and Rivaldo, while a 19-year-old Carlos Puyol and Sergio Busquets' dad Carls were on the bench. However, Andriy Shevchenko, then just 21, bagged a first-half hat-trick to leave the Spanish crowd stunned. A red card for Sergi Bajuan and a fourth goal from Rebrov in the second half meant the Ukrainians had netted seven without reply with the two legs, and Barcelona finished bottom of their group, watching arch-rivals Real Madrid go on to win the whole competition. 5. AC Milan 4, Barcelona 0 The first of two European Cup finals on our list, Barcelona played AC Milan in the 1994 edition, with the two super clubs having won three of the previous five tournaments. Milan under Fabio Capello had lost to Marseille the year before, but had won three Scudetti on the bounce, including one unbeaten. Barcelona were coached by Johan Cruyff and had four titles in a row, while their centre-back Ronald Koeman was actually the top scorer in the European Cup, with eight goals. But the Rosaneri were in trouble. Gianluigi Lentini, then the most expensive player ever, was out injured, along with star striker Marco van Basten, while Costa Curta, Varese and Papa all missed out too. Barcelona, meanwhile, had too many good options. UEFA rules at the time prevented a team from fielding more than three foreign players, and Cruyff went for Stoichkov, Romario and Koeman, dropping Michael Laudrup, who Capello later described as the one I feared. Against the odds, Milan put in a performance of historic brilliance, with Marcel Desailly dominating Pep Guardiola in midfield. It was 2-0 at half-time, 4-0 after 90, and Barcelona's record became four finals, three losses. They never won another trophy under Cruyff, and Laudrup ditched them for Real Madrid that summer. 4. Sauer Bucharest 0, Barcelona 0 Since 2006, Barcelona have won all four of the Champions League finals they've appeared in, but it wasn't always so easy. In 1961, the Catalans became the first club ever to beat Real Madrid in the competition, which was then five years old, when they defeated the Merengues 4-3 in the first round, sparking a run to the final, where they lost to Benfica. The Catalans would not return to the showpiece match until 1986, but this time a coronation seemed inevitable. Terry Venables' side had knocked out Porto and Holders Juventus on the way to the final and faced Sao Bucharest, whose side was entirely composed of Romanians. Meanwhile, Barca were led by German superstar Bernd Schuster, who had come in third for the Ballon d'Or the previous year. However, the Minnows kept the score at 0-0 with a determined rearguard action, and the match went to penalties, where Stauer keeper Helmuth Duckerdom made himself a hero. Though Stauer only scored two pens, Duckerdom saved all four of Barca's effort, the last from Marcus Alonso, father of the current Chelsea defender. The title went back to Bucharest while Barcelona went home in disgrace. Venables was gone just a year later. 3. Barcelona 1, Mets 4 Barcelona had a stellar domestic campaign in 1984-85, winning the league for the first time in 11 years by a landslide 10 points in Englishman Terry Venables' first season at the helm. El Tel arrived from QPR where his solitary piece of silverware was a Division II title, bringing hard-working, selfless players with him, like Scottish player Steve Archibald, who he backed to replace the outgoing Diego Maradona. Not an easy job. The Scot rewarded his manager's faith with 15 goals, and his newfound emphasis on hard work and team shape over individual skill helped transform a bestering Barcelona. However, Barcelona struggled to compete on multiple fronts, bowing out in embarrassing fashion to Mets in that year's edition of the European Cup Winners' Cup. Prior to the game, the bookies priced Mets' chances of progressing at just 100 to 1. Bernd Schuster was starring in Barca's midfield, and Archibald was firing on all cylinders, not to mention Venable's side had already defeated the Maroons 4-2 in the northeast of France. And it looked like par for the course after the French club quickly found themselves 1-0 down to a Carrasco goal. However, a Kerbos hat-trick, including one front-post thunderbolt and a calamitous own goal by Sanchez, saw Barcelona crash out 6-5 on aggregate. That would be the highlight of Metz's European campaign, as they crashed out to Dinamo Dresden in the next round. 2. Real Madrid 11, Barcelona 1 Remarkably, the heaviest defeat in the history of El Clasico is not Barca's record loss, which was a 12-0 drubbing at the hands of Athletic Club in 1930. But the 11-1 thrashing in the semi-final of the 1943 Copa del Generalismo is by far the most bitter and controversial. At this point in their history, the Blaugrana had not won a single Spanish title, but they were tearing up the cup, renamed during the reign of brutal dictator Francisco Franco. But, according to legend, Franco, who considered Catalan identity a threat to his power over Spain, sent his chief of security into the Barca dressing room before the return fixture, telling his players what they could expect if they knocked out the capital club. The atmosphere on the field was no less terrifying, as Real had handed out whistles with every ticket, and the crowd pelted goalkeeper Luis Miro with coins and bottles, keeping him off his goal line for much of the game. 
By half-time, it was 8-0 Real, and the final whistle came as a relief to the travelling Cules. It was the beginning of football's greatest rivalry, though there was some justice, as Barcelona won three of the next six league titles, and Real went another 10 years before becoming champions again. 1. Barcelona 0, Bayern Munich 7 Barca's heaviest defeat in Europe since the 4-0 loss to Dinamo Kiev at number 6, the club's 7-0 aggregate hammering by Bayern Munich in the 2012-13 Champions League remains the worst semi-final performance in the history of the competition. Barca needed a good performance after losing out to Real in the final of the Copa del Rey, but the tie was over after the first leg, with Bayern pressing Tito Villanova's side off the park. Thomas Müller's movement proved impossible for even Sergio Busquets to deal with, the German grabbing two goals and an assist, while Gomez and Robin also got on the score sheet. Barcelona could muster just four shots, two of them coming from Marc Bartra, but it was hoped that pride could be restored at home, where Barcelona had dropped just two points all season on their way to 100. It wasn't to be. Despite keeping the Bavarians out in the first half, the Spaniards couldn't handle Robin and Ribery in the second, with the pair completing 11 dribbles between them. The Dutchman and Muller netted again, and though Gerard Piquet made two last-man tackles to keep the score down, he added in an own goal to cap a truly horrific 180 minutes. Barcelona had previously looked unbeatable in Europe, but 2013 signalled the end of their dominance and opened the door to Real Madrid. So that was 10 of Barcelona's most horrific defeats, and there were some absolute shockers in there, weren't there? Let us know, though, if we missed any out in the comments below. And while you're here, why don't you go check out yesterday's Football Mundial with Zach and McCubbin. And as I mentioned at the beginning, make sure you hit that notification button, dilly ding, dilly dong, and you won't miss a single video. And as ever, people, don't forget to like and subscribe.